Buenos dias, D-Rock here. Welcome to the channel. Sun's just coming up behind me there. It is a cold, early January day. As a matter of fact, it's January 2nd, so uh, we're in the new year, baby. And the temp currently is like 25 degrees where I'm at. So my goal today is to find some warmer weather, and that's what I'm doing. Favorite wintertime stomping ground of mine is west of here, here being southwestern Utah, and I'm heading to southern Nevada, area called Gold Butte, Gold Butte National Monument to be precise. The high today there is supposed to be like 60. So I was actually out there yesterday doing another video for something else. And I'm like, man, I'm coming back tomorrow, which is today. <laughs> and I'm gonna do some riding out here. So that's what I'm up to. I'm heading out that way, heading west, baby. Heading west to warmer weather. And uh, I have to, uh, you can see those mountains just in front of me. Those are the Beaver Dam Mountains. If you're not familiar with the area I'm riding in, I have to get through those mountains first to get to the lower desert. So it's going to get even colder. But I'll survive. I got all my warm gear on, and let me tell you, it's not enough. <laughs> I'm freezing, and my, my feet will be proper numb by the time I get down from the, uh, the mountains there. It's not a very long ride through the mountains. And I passed through yesterday, so there's no, there didn't seem to be any ice patches or anything like that. We haven't had any precipitation, so. So I should be good to go. Only thing I gotta watch out for is those pesky mule deer that like to hang out in the road right at dawn. So we'll keep an eye out for those, but everything should be okay. So if you're not familiar with Gold Butte, it is a pretty enchanting place. Uh, in the wintertime, it's fairly popular just because the warmer weather there. And um, for me, there's lots of opportunities, not just riding, but hiking and all that good stuff. So I usually hang out there in the wintertime. Summertime, no way, man. It is it is brutally hot. But uh, we'll go have a look and I've been out there. I've done a few videos out there. So uh, join me for the ride. And if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It's free. It really helps us out tremendously. Let's get going. Oh, and by the way, I am on my Honda CRF 300L today. <clears throat> I just put up another video for the 300L. Talking about how much I really like this bike, because I do, I really do like this bike a lot. And uh, I figured today would be a good day to take it out there, because it has a windshield on it, number one. I was thinking about the DR650, but let me tell you, when it's below freezing and that wind's just buffeting on your chest, it's it's not enjoyable. Well, for me, it's not. I know for some people it really makes you feel alive, but I'm okay. So I still need to get a windshield put onto that, and uh, I'll be working on that at some point this winter. But I chose the uh, 300L in case I go off-road and want to go do some exploring. It's a little easier to deal with than the KR650 since I am by myself. Anyway, long story short, I'm on the 300L. It's going to be awesome. We're good to go. Let's get riding, baby. Ooh, there's a little sun. Good Lord, I could use some of that right now. Man, I, I got the hippo hands on and the warmest gloves I own, but my hands are still cold, man. It's just that cold out right now. Ooh, man, let me tell you, I might need to pull over and do some jumping jacks or something. <laughs> Woo! On another note, just went over 10,000 subscribers today that's awesome so thank you all very much greatly greatly appreciated that's uh, that's extremely cool man and uh, Jen and I were pretty stoked about that when we saw that this morning so thanks again folks all right we have made it through and we are beginning our descent see that low desert down there nice and warm I want to be down there right now. So I want to get this ride in today because tomorrow there's a front moving through and 
like it's going to get really cold like it's gonna drop another 15 or something degrees like the high is like 30 or something I know you guys up north are laughing at me right now but uh, that's pretty cold for us here in southwestern Utah three two one blue where's the Sun hallelujah all right warm me up baby Woo! okay the coldest part of the day is now over with Oh my goodness. Yeah, okay. I can't take it. <laughs> my hands are so, my fingertips are so cold. I gotta stop for a second and roast them on the engine here and then I'll continue on. Alright, onward. Oh, I need to be right here. All right, we're warming up though. That's a good thing. I'm about, I don't know, maybe 10 miles from getting into Gold Butte National Monument proper. And uh, it's still pretty cold actually. Not like it was when I was coming through the Beaver Dam Mountains, but um, I'm still pretty chilled, but um, I'm comfortable if that makes sense. So it's not that bad. And it's just going to get warmer and warmer, so all good. So pretty chill ride for the most part, <laughs> literally. <laughs> but um, yeah, this road can, like I said, I was out here yesterday. And if you come out here, you're definitely going to want to bring everything you need to change a flat tire. The road going out here is pretty bad just lots and lots and lots of potholes pretty rough it's not so bad on a motorcycle honestly it's worse than a in a truck but nevertheless uh, you still want to be prepared because you are remote out here so but it's worth it it's beautiful out here warmer in the winter and uh just a great place to come chill for a day or multiple days you know lots of camping opportunities out here pretty much anywhere you want so I'm gonna get on down the road here yeah so heading out here you got intermittent chunks of asphalt and then dirt and washboardy it's not bad. It's definitely not bad on a motorcycle, but uh, it's a little, a little more extreme in uh, in a truck or a car. You can zip right through all this stuff on a motor. So getting out here, you can get pretty. You can get out here pretty quick. Is what I'm trying to say. It's a little, a little slower and <laughs> uh, on four wheels. Yeah, you can really just zip down this road. It'll slow all the other vehicles down, but on a motorcycle you can scream through here. Not that I'm recommending you do that. I'm just saying it's a lot easier to maneuver and dodge the potholes. Because there's a bunch. Motorcycle just scoots right on through all this, so love it. I <laughs> love it. I was doing like 35 miles an hour in the truck yesterday through here, but on the moto I can darn near do 50. It's a trip, man. But there are a lot of blind curves, and uh, you want to pay special attention to that because a lot of people are on the other side of the road trying to avoid potholes. So be very aware riding this road down into Gold Butte. All right. This is a dirt road I've been wanting to check out for some time, so I'm going to go down here and see where this takes me. I'm not going to get into anything too crazy today, but I just want to enjoy the warmer weather. So this road is known as Fisherman's Cove. This at one point probably could get you down to Lake Mead, which you can see in the distance. I'm not sure if the camera's really picking that up from this point but uh, I've never 
I've never been down here. I've always continued heading down south. So today could be the day. And this road stretches, what does the sign say, 10 miles or so? So let's go down and see how interesting it gets. Ah, well, this road's pretty chill thus far. But yeah, I've never been down this road here, the Fisherman's Cove. And like I said, it's it's not too bad. Some gravelly, some deeper sand sections, but uh, it's kind of typical for out here. Imagine the camera's probably picking up lake meat at this point off in the distance. There is some water in the lake. So uh, at one point, like I said, I'm sure you could get right to the, the edge of the lake on this road, but that lake's receded so so much over the years now that um, those days are long gone. Okay, here we go. Deep sand. I was expecting to run into this. Wow, it is. Check out that view behind me. That's the Virgin Mountains up there. I've summited that one. <clears throat> it's so still and quiet out here. It's like my tinnitus is just... <laughs> deep sandy gravel good stuff fun road to ride on oh, here we go yeah oh. squirrely in this stuff I'm, I'm aired up pretty good so just makes it a little squirrelier in the, the loose stuff, but that's all right. I don't. I'm not really airing down anymore. I tend to get into rocks and stuff, so and I've always said I'm just a little more concerned about pinch flats than that. So I just, I just keep the bike aired up. It doesn't even bother anymore, and everything's working out just fine. And if you're curious, I have Tusk D Sports on the Honda here. They've done me well, those tires. I've pretty much, I've, I've actually got Tusk D-Sports on all my bikes. It's a great tire. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple of little sections here where it gets mm, interesting, I'd say. Well, nothing too bad yet. Ooh. This is some desert here for you, baby. Barren. Wow, look at all that. So the Virgin River runs into Lake Mead. You can see Lake Mead to the distance now. And I think the Virgin River's off there just, just to my right here, coming around these uh, hills here. So, man, that's a pretty cool view. I'm gonna do some, uh, do some walking up in there. There might be some rock art or some caves or a canyon or something. Yeah. Beautiful area out here, just it's just stunning, man. And like way off in the distance, pointing this out now, I'm not really sure if the camera can pick it up that well, but um, you've got 
these mountains coming down here and then obviously down below you've got the Virgin River I can see it Lake Mead off to my left but further into the horizon there before you get to that big mountain range at the very very back end you can see the uh, Valley of Fire the Red Rocks of Valley of Fire man wow I can even see way 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 out there I can see the snow-capped uh, Mount Charleston wow Taking a break for a second. It's pretty darn cool out here. Wide open. So I'm going to continue on down, and that ought to get me, well, presumably close to the Virgin River. I'm not sure, but um, man, wow. It's just absolutely still and dead quiet out here. No wind. I'm actually I'm surprised I'm not hearing planes coming out of Vegas, but pretty cool. All right, well, let's head on down. Okay, down, down, down we go. Ah, so far so good, no big deal. So where I'm at now, um, all this here was underwater at one point. Yeah, that's how far up Lake Mead used to be. So where I'm currently riding was underwater. I'm gonna go this way. Whoa, right, here's that, oh, yep, no, no, no. Huh. What did I say about that sand? Come on. So we're in it now, oh yeah. Deep, deep sand. Whoa. Not my favorite stuff to be in. Oh. Jeez. Man, I'm not down with the deep sand today. I'm gonna ride back up here. Huh. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. How bad is this stuff? That's eh, all right. This is better than what I was just in. Here we go again. I don't think this is going to, uh, well, maybe it will. Ah, oh, hell. Let's go a little farther and see what we get into. That's it, man. Kaput. End of the road, man. <laughs> so when what once was the bottom of Lake Mead, yeah. 
Oh, well, there you have it. <laughs> yeah, this is, I don't know, this is all right. I think I'm gonna go back up top and have some breakfast, so. Yeah, the view from up top was a little better than being down here in the bushes. This will do just fine right here. Oh, this is a good place to chill for a second. Nice views everywhere. So, brought some coffee. Kind of warm, that'll work. Oh yeah, some Danish. We'll have ourselves a little breakfast here and then ride on out. Was a pretty sweet road man and if I may say it this is exactly the type of riding the 300 L just simply excels in I mean the bike was meant to do rides like this back way on the highway 60 65 miles an hour these dirt roads and this bike is absolutely fantastic for that kind of riding but um, man, you can just see the breadth of gold butte in front of me and it's warmed up it feels fantastic out here i was able to switch back into my leathers and gloves that is and yeah so i'm gonna head on down and see what's going on see if i can find another dirt road to muck about in but uh folks thank you very much for watching lots more content on the way Thank you very much for subscribing and supporting the channel. And if you are new to the channel, please consider doing so. That is free and it helps us out tremendously. So there you have it. Another taste of Gold Butte National Monument here in Southern Nevada. Winter Wonderland, let me tell you, I love it out here. So folks, stay safe out there. We'll see you next time. D-Rock out. Adios.